Man, the contrast between the Democrat convention and the Republican convention is ridiculous. I mean, it, it's downright embarrassing to be a MAGA Republican these days, don't you think? Patriots? Uh, I mean, that Republican convention uh, was just low energy, bunch of people just whining and complaining and bitching about America, talking about how bad America sucks, talking about how bad the American people suck. That's all that convention was. I mean, 85% of the men that were there were actively logged into Grinder looking for homosexual hookups, and that's a fact. So much projection coming from the Republican Party, their MAGA. Uh, so, I mean, it was just a, a sad, sad convention the Republicans had. Like I said, very low energy, very low enthusiasm. Uh, but on the other hand, the Democrat convention, they were fired up. Um, they had a positive message, a message of hope and patriotism. There was so much patriotism at the Democratic convention, uh, it blew my mind. Uh, see, those Democrats, uh, they, they did what they said they was going to do. They're taking patriotism back from us. You know how we throw that word around a lot. Uh, basically, we molest it like we do other things, right? All that projection and stuff. But uh, they're taking it back, and it looks like they've already started um, but there's a whole lot of enthusiasm around that uh, Kamala Harris lady there. Yep. Yeah, yeah, the black lady. Absolutely. Yep. Um, yeah, they got a whole lot of enthusiasm behind her and a good positive message for the future of America, unlike the Republican Party, who's nothing but gloom and doom and hate. Uh, and matter of fact, uh, seems like our Republican Party is all about um, being cruel. You know, uh, the gall of somebody to get on Twitter and make fun of Tim Walt's son, who is on the autistic spectrum, and say that he is some sort of beta male. Uh, what kind of alpha male would make a statement like that? Now, I had this Democrat tell me that if somebody said, like, said something like that in front of them, that he would turn them into fossil fuel. I think his name was Black Boot or something like that. I don't remember. But anyway, yeah, um, those are the people on our side that thinks it's cool to make fun of people with disabilities. That's our people. That's what we stand for. And that's the reason why America hates our guts. Um, so uh, anyway, yeah, they have a, a nice positive message coming out of the Democratic Party. And we are the party of hate and fear. Uh, fear being the key word there, that's the reason why we can't go out in public without a weapon strapped to our side because we're literally scared of everything. That and because we have such low self-esteem that we hope that we find ourselves in a situation that we get to unalive somebody so that somehow we might become a hero and get some sort of recognition because we're worthless pieces of shit. Uh, but anyway, uh, yeah, it looks like there's going to be a giant blue tsunami headed our way, and there's nothing we're going to be able to do to stop that. And, and a matter of fact, we might as well not participate in this election anyway, because we have been openly saying for months and months that we don't believe in democracy. Remember that? Patriots. Remember? We don't believe in democracy. And we believe that that's, that last election was stolen by them Democrats anyway. You remember that too? Well, if we really believe that, then why the hell would we participate in this next one? Because they'll damn sure steal it too, won't they? Huh? So we might as well keep our dumb asses at home. Remember before we ever participated in politics back in 2015? That's the way it should be now because we didn't know jack shit about jack shit then and we haven't learned a damn thing since. So maybe we shouldn't inject ourselves into America's politics until we learn something. That sounds like a good idea. What do you think, MAGA patriots? Inmate Trump, 2024.